Can you envision a future where we see mutation happening at such a pace that we need sort of a yearly COVID shot, something like what we have for the flu? Yeah, that's a possibility. I'm concerned, but I'm not too concerned. because Dr. Paul Lucio at UC Davis can tell you every technical detail about this. He's got 40 years experience in virology. And the first thing he pointed out to us is that the flu changes very frequently. That's why the flu shot has to change every year to target new strains. But to protect against COVID? The frequency of generating variants is much lower with coronaviruses. While we can't rule out the need for anti annual shots, we do know coronavirus isn't as much of a moving target as the flu. And just as important, to mutate into new strains, the coronavirus has to infect new hosts. As these current vaccines get out there, transmission is going to be reduced. Today's vaccines teach your immune system to look for several different parts of those trademark spikes on the outside of a coronavirus particle. Even if that spike mutates a little bit, some of the antibodies you get from today's shot could still help you fight it, Dr. Lucio says. Even if new strains of coronavirus change quite a bit, it may not lead to annual shots. We may not need to take them every year, maybe every two or three years. You can envision like boosters down the line. That's right. This would be a booster. Uh, let's say tetanus, which is not a virus, but you know, we get boosted with that every now and then every five years or so. We might be able to get herd immunity without boosters or yearly shots, Dr. Lucio says, but we won't know until we spend more time studying how the vaccine works and how the virus responds. Brandon Ritterman, ABC 10 News.